Greetings, WordPressers. In today's show, ever been faced with a situation where the links that you're sharing to socials are showing the wrong image for that page or post or are not showing an image at all? Well, in this WordPress tutorial, we're going to fix that forever. Jackson here, welcome to the channel. As you may or may not know, this is my place on YouTube for all things WordPress. And if you like a little bit of WordPress and you're new here, then I do encourage you to subscribe. Check out the description, it has lots of nice links and other uh, information about today's show and other things. Um, but anyway, uh, on, on with today's show. Um, so, you, it must have happened to you. You must have had a call in the middle of the night from one of your clients or from your friend that you created a website for where he has said, the image is not showing up on the links that we have sent to our social accounts and what have you. Shock, horror, the marketing campaign is all over and we've got a major problem on our hands. Well, it doesn't have to be as hard as that. Just make sure you put into action this process every single time you launch a website and make sure that your web users, whether that's your mate, your uncle, your aunt, your boss, your client know what they're doing. Because in this WordPress tutorial, you will never have to deal with the wrong image ever again. Right, let's crack on with this. Um, we've got uh, demo site hands up here. Let's go and have a look and see what um, Facebook is making of our current homepage image. Which one will it choose? Um, all these descriptions for the de debugging tool for Facebook, the card validator for Twitter and the post inspector for LinkedIn are indeed in the description below. But let's uh, have a look at Facebook's view of our world on hands. And here we go. We basically get, we do get an image because it has found an image on the page. Indeed, we have lots of different images. If we actually scrape that again, we'll see it chooses a different image. This is because it's actually plucking a random one out of this page. And it gets even more random because if we refresh this page, you see this page actually displays the images. Well, they're the portfolio custom post type. Um, displays them randomly every time you reach the page. So essentially, Facebook is going to pick a different one every time it is likely to, well, Facebook might pick a different one every time it scrapes it. So how do we fix this? Very simple, install one single plugin. Let's get back to our dashboard. Well, it could be a, a, a couple of different plugins that actually do the same job. Uh, it's an SEO plugin that I like to use for sites these days, but Yoast is just as good. Let's go to plugins, add new, uh, and we're gonna go find the rank math plugin. And as I said, you can use Yoast or indeed any of the, the big boys on the SEO plugin side of things. Let's install Rank Math. Activate that and we should jump to the Rank Math settings page or setting setup wizard. Um, this is what I really like about it. I mean, Yoast does the same thing, but it's just so fast. This is not a Rank Math tutorial. So please uh, do not pull me up on skipping over steps and what have you. We're just using this as a quick install, basic install, default install, so we can get the, the stuff that we need on our pages and posts. Let's start the wizard. Okay, uh, personal blog. Well, it's actually probably more a more of a personal portfolio. We'll add our logo for Google, although we don't have one on this site because it uses text a font for a logo. So let's just use hands there and we'll add our default social image, sharing image uh, for the entire site, all the pages and stuff. Now this is the, this is the crucial part as far as uh, pages are concerned. But anyway, let's continue and save. Uh, we can connect our rank math account to our Google services and all, all sorts of stuff like that. It's very good stuff, but I'll save that for another time. Save and continue. Sitemap always. But again, much more detail on that on a new tutorial up and coming. SEO tweaks, save and continue. And we're done. Let's go return to the dashboard. Let's go to our Facebook debugger and see what's that saying now. Let's have a look. Scrape that again, Facebook, please. Scraping cream. Okay, so Things are looking better already. We've lost a couple of the missing properties out of the warning section. Plus, we've actually got the default image. Now that's cool. That was that's I mean that's a marked improvement from the issue where it was just choosing a rando. Although they are quite nice images. But let's let's drill into this further so we know that we can totally tailor make this page URL the exact sharing experience we want it to be on those socials. So let's go to our pages and we'll go to the portfolio page. 
uh, which is actually the, the front page. And you see, we've got our rank math section already here to be updated. And like I said, there's tons of stuff on rank math and general SEO plugins, which is up and coming uh, on this channel uh, that I'll go through. But we're only interested in the social share, uh, specifically the image, the image for now. So let's go have a look at the social sharing snippet editor on rank math. And here we see it's currently pulling in that global default image, because if we go back to our main post, we don't actually have a featured image, which is fine. We don't need one because we're using rank math to control all of that. Back to rank math and our social snippet editor. Uh, let's change this image. We're going to change that image from the default rank math setting one to a new one. Let's choose this lovely white building here. We'll select that and we'll close that up, update that. Let's see what Facebook is now saying about our page. Rescrape again, please, Facebook. And there we go. We've got our new image. Now, not much info here because there is no excerpts on pages, believe it or not. Uh, you can get a plugin for that, but it's not necessarily what you want to do in this circumstance. Let's go back to our page. And if we go back to our social snippet editor, we can actually rather than keep it default, this is just sort of pulling up uh, the page title of the meta data that's within the page, but we can change all that. So for example, if we just actually go to our site, let's close that a sec, we go to our site, we can actually get, um, you know, we can actually put in something a bit more useful into this page so that when you share it, it's actually much better. So rather than that, we could have hands dot I'm a graphic designer, blah, blah. And we could get the rest of his mini bio here and stick that as the description. So a little bit more click juice, if you like, obviously advising it to keep it relevant and in context with the page that you're, or the post that you're directing people to. So let's go have a look at uh, what Facebook is saying now, scrape again. Uh, and then we've got our new, got a custom title for this sharing link. Uh, and plus his mini bio there, which is brilliant. And also you'll notice that the missing properties has just been reduced to just the app underscore ID. And uh, I'm faithfully told that that is no longer in use. And so there you go. And so this works on all pages and posts and custom posts, wherever something is visu visually available in the front end, your SEO plugin, in this case, Rank Math, will allow you to add all this social sharing goodness to your site so that when you do share posts, you'll have beautiful images, titles, and descriptions. So there you go, how to get it right when it comes to those images shared on your socials. Uh, but do let me know what your feelings are in the comments below. As per usual, have I missed anything? Have I got anything? Have you got anything more to add? Um, but until next time, I shall see you later.